Oh boy, here we go again. How many times has it been since they blamed video games for violence once again? It's been like, I don't know, fucking, hold on, let me count it. Has it been like five times they've tried? What, didn't they blame gay marriage for violence too? I'm pretty sure they blame gay marriage for it. One of these fucking shootings, didn't they? There were people who blame gay marriage for shootings. <laughs> oh my god, how many times are we gonna just, you know, throw the blame onto something else, you know, so easily? Like, it's getting insane. But now we're back to video games. Video games have been blamed, like, so many damn times for so much violence that we've proven wrong. We've proven it wrong multiple times, and they need to stop blaming video games for every single problem that they need to put their ass into gear and fin fix themselves. To be honest, they've blamed video games for like so many damn things. You know, you got kids out here winning like three million dollars playing Fortnite. You got, you know, tournaments, prize money being actually sports or esports whichever one you want to call it people were like oh it's not actually sports it's like dude there's so many things that we call sports that aren't actually sports okay you don't have to be like a actual running athlete or like obviously athletes are you know moving their body parts you know shit video games count too you guys just don't want to accept that you know and people are making money off of it making more money than you know the average job and people are getting upset about it like always and they want to blame video games for basically anything that they don't know especially the people who don't play video games always wants to you know throw it on to something you know it's just getting absurd and i saw an article or multiple articles and multiple people saying that trump is also blaming video games for his shootings i'm sitting here like nobody really cares what the fuck he thinks about it and his opinion doesn't count on that <laughs> because we've proven it wrong that video games do not cause violence see I can just play Grand Theft Auto and <laughs> shoot one NPC in the head it doesn't mean I'm bloodthirsty and want to go on a you know RL bloody <laughs> spree you know just killing everybody but no that's not it <laughs> literally people have mental issues you know they have mental issues from like abuse, all types of things. Or some people are just mentally unstable. Like, you guys need to get that through your heads and just stop blaming it on the smallest shit that you guys don't like or find controversial or something along that line. It's just, it's absurd. But I can already hear it right now. His gun doesn't speak for hours. Well, it, it sure spoke for that Walmart, that's for sure. Yeah, my man's decided to go play the Russian, the no Russian mission in real life. Yeah, no, that was probably a bad joke. I should not. <laughs> Fuck it, we're leaving it in there. Oh, we're gonna get in trouble for that later. But, dude, it's, it just needs to stop. Video games do not cause violence. It's mental issues of being bullied. You know, people just have anger issues. Mental issues, like so much shit going on in their life in their lives. Video games are to escape it, but at this point, they're trying to use it as like just something to blame, just so they don't have to do anything about the actual gun laws and get more people mad. Because people, I guess they think that more people would prefer video games to be gone than guns, which is kind of stupid. Because neither of them should be gone, but they should be controlled, at least in some type of way. At least guns, mostly. Mostly guns need to be controlled in some type of way, but they never really enforce that. But, out of everything, I wouldn't say video games cause, cause violence at all. I'm pretty sure multiple people will agree with that, considering, like I said, we've proved it multiple times that video games don't cause violence. They tried to blame it on gay marriage, and which... Just people don't think and don't try to seek out help, you know? There's plenty of people who can help you. It could be some stranger, it could be somebody in your family. Seek mental help. 
You can even go to therapy. Therapy will, you know, help you out a lot more. But being with family or friends that actually care will actually be a better benefit. Uh, I just wanted to speak on this because, dude, it's just getting uh, absurd of how many people are just going straight to blaming everything else but the real issue. It's just that simple. And we already, I'm pretty sure they figured out that the guy was a Trump supporter anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> Dude, for one, I guess, you know, JFK died because somebody was playing video games too much, you know, and wanted to take him out. I guess video games started killing people before video games were even invented, you know? People were dying from guns before video games, I guess. I guess we can all say that, huh? It, it just makes no fucking sense. It's... My main point I'm trying to say is video games are not to blame for most of the shit that happens. Literally, it's just to escape problems, just to have fun with friends, meet new people, and it helps people meet all kinds of new people, you know. Some of them toxic, that, that I can say. Some of them dumbasses online as well, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we can't, we can't speak for them, but dude, it's just mainly just to escape so many worries, so many like, you know, drama. Just come home, relax, play a good video game. You know, not everybody plays violent video games. Everybody plays like, you know, some fun video games with the family, friends and shit like that. You know, you don't see me after playing Mortal Kombat going around trying to finish somebody. You don't see me after playing COD trying to take out everybody and get a fucking nuke. You don't see me playing like fucking Mario Kart and trying to drive people off the road. Throwing fucking turtle shells across the fucking uh, freeway. Like, you don't see us doing that shit. It's literally that some people just can't handle life as good as others. And sometimes it gets a little bit too much for them to the point where they can't handle it anymore and do something stupid. Which is why more people need to start reaching out and, you know, do something about it. To be honest, I've just been making videos just because I love, you know, the entertainment of it. You know, it's so much fun to actually make these videos for you guys and, you know, cheer some of you guys up. If I can cheer at least one person up and have at least one person enjoy my videos, I'm set. I don't care. I don't care if the rest of the world hates it. As long as that one person... At least I brighten up their day, help them a little bit. That's fine. It's fine by me. The rest of the world can hate me as long as that one person is enjoying his life. That's good. On my account. But, yeah. I just wanted to talk out on this, guys. It's, it's just been bothering me for a while. I might do a little bit of these, you know, a little bit of rants now and then. As I used to do. But, um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. For those of you guys who are unhappy out there, reach out to somebody.